Let me speak to Honorable Jeanette Mohammed because the President is also speaking about how to enable Parliament to do its oversight role, saying that the, the ministers or the CSS who have an opportunity to come to the House should you review the standing orders. How does that help the work of Parliament in your view? First and foremost, first I'm serving my third term in this Parliament. And this is the, the shortest speech I have ever seen in Parliament like by, by the President. It has never happened. Looks like there were no serious issues to discuss with the Kenyan people. But, so, but more importantly, the president looked like somebody who's still in campaign mood, still campaigning, still talking about issues of uh, hustlers, still talking about the issues of bottom-up in the judiciary, he's still talking about uh, who was the opposition candidate and who was government candidate. Those are now things that are dead and buried. With the declaration of the results at Bomas, those things are behind Kenyans. The worst thing I've seen today is that the president is still issuing new promises. He had issued promises during the campaign. He had a plan and manifesto. Today he was issuing new promises that are very new to the Kenyan people. So I don't know, is it promises over promises over promises? What is so new for you? There, there, there are a lot of issues. Issues to deal with NSSF, the savings he's talking about. All those, those, those things will have been covered in his manifesto when he was campaigning. But more importantly also, he is cutting the current budget that we passed in April by 300 billion shillings. I hope when Treasury brings that supplementary budget to, to National Assembly where I sit as the Chief Whip, I hope that they show us the items they are going to cut the budget from. Because we want to know where that money is going to be cut. You know, cutting a budget is cutting like your flesh. So we want to see where that flesh, is it the arm, is it the leg, is it the back, is it the stomach? We want to know where the president will cut those things from. But on the question about enabling parliament to do its oversight, by bringing CSS to the floor of the house, how do you like that? I think that is something that should be left to the members of parliament. It's not the business of the executive and it's not the business of the judiciary. It is the business of parliament to decide how they want to do their oversight. Parliament is an independent arm of government. They should not be induced in any way using CDF, using tokenism of this type, tokenism of that type. No. CDF has been there since immemorial. It was done through an act of parliament and it is done through parliament. So those are matters that should be left for parliament to decide on their own. Not that the president should not use it as, a, as, as, as an inducement so that we, he can win the support of members of parliament. That will not deter us from doing our oversight role as opposition.